Just weeks before the infamous Battle of Little Bighorn, Sitting Bull had an eerie vision. It came to him while he was performing a spiritual ritual called a sun dance. The battle was a prediction my great-grandfather had four weeks or so before the battle happened. You know, he had a sun dance at what the place called the Deer Medicine Rocks. On the second day, he had a vision of soldiers falling the camp upside down. They, they fell into camp with like grasshoppers with no ears. And underneath the soldiers fell a, a group of natives the same way. And he heard a voice come to him, told him in Lakota, he said, I give you these for they have no ears. And he didn't know, you know, what, when this battle was gonna happen, he didn't tell him that, but you know, it was like a gift to him. Shortly after the Sundance, on June 17, 1876, the Sioux warrior Crazy Horse led a surprise attack on a regiment of U.S. cavalry. The army had been sent to contain the Sioux, but instead, they were forced to turn back and retreat. These warriors came out and thought this was the great victory, but my great-grandfather said, no, it isn't, you know, it's still coming. And meanwhile, after the battle was over, the, the natives were coming from all directions, joining the you know, the, his camp. And the food was getting short because of many people. So they're, scout, they're sending scouts in four directions and trying to find out, you know, there's a herd of buffalo somewhere. And, and a couple of scouts came back from the west and said along the Little Bighorn River, around the, the valley of the greasy grass, they call it, there was this whole thousands of antelope. So the camp moved. And they crossed the river at the Little Bighorn and camped on the, on the western edge. They weren't waiting around for Custer or anybody to show up. They were just, it was just a big socializing time. They had antelope feast and people were telling stories and having a great time, you know, singing and dancing. And the next morning was June 25th when Custer showed up about noon or so and they attacked the, the village from the south. The Sioux warriors overwhelmed the cavalry with a hail of gunfire and arrows. In less than an hour, Custer and his men were killed in the worst American military disaster to date. In the aftermath of their victory over Custer and his men, the Sioux made a crucial mistake. They were fighting for, for, the, for their homeland, their way of life. The Americans just wouldn't quit. You know, they kept pushing them, pushing them, pushing them until they had to retaliate. And what the, the sad part about all this was they didn't follow my great-grandfather's vision to the end. When the voice came to him in the Sundance, he said, I give you these for they have no ears. He also told them, do not take their scalp, do not take their food, do not take their horses, do not take their weapons, ammunition, nothing. Just leave them as they lay. Sitting Bull now understood his vision. The grasshoppers without ears were his own warriors. But the people didn't listen. You know, they took the clothes and took their horses and their ammo, their food, and took their scalps. My great-grandfather knew that his people in the future were gonna suffer at the hands of the relatives of these soldiers who died that back by the greasy grass. Even though the victory was great, you know, in the end, they were gonna be suffering at their hands because they didn't follow the vision to the end. <laughs> 